is a non-malignant mass in the upper lobe of the left lung that needs to be resected. How's your day? Not as exciting as yours. Ellen! I'll be right out! Ah! I'm not going to repeat myself, so I suggest you all listen very carefully. It's about a family that gets taken hostage, and it's the drama, how the family deals with it, and how the plot evolves. Okay what these hostages want. See that shadow right there? That's what doesn't belong in there. I have full confidence in you. What I found interesting is that her experience of it is so positive in a way. Out of this hideous situation, she actually grows as a person and finds her strength. Do you love your family, Ellen? Oh, yes. Why are you doing this? Tomorrow, you're going to operate on the president. You will die. Otherwise, we will kill your family. I know, the pressure that Ellen is put under is unbelievable. I can't imagine what the outcome would be if I was in the same situation. The stakes themselves are in incredibly high. Oh, oh, Dad! I believe that the metaphor of that we're all hostages somewhere, we're hostages to each other, we're taking hostages, and I think emotionally, Tony and I, our characters are uh, linked together in some special way and that we're both a hostage to each other. Follow my instructions and no one will get hurt. One of the things that drew me to this script is that all of the characters are so complex and three-dimensional and relatable and real. They all have a certain kind of grey area. Nothing is just black and white. He's investigating a murder he committed. He has connections everywhere. He's trying to be a good dad and a good husband, but when these hostage takers come into the house, it's revealed that he's maybe not what his wife thought he was. Brian, no, 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 no! This dynamic between Duncan, played by Dylan, and Ellen, I loved that it wasn't really overt in the script. It's just this very subtle, strange understanding that they have. Although he's doing something horrible to her family, he's actually enabling her to feel good about herself in a way. He helps her to grow, and I think that's what creates this particular attraction, no matter where it goes. He kind of frees something up in her, and that in itself is very intoxicating. One of the themes of this show really is terrorism, and I think that terrorism is on everyone's mind. So I think that this show will kind of tap into that a little bit. Are you ready? There's an emotional thread to this show. Let's do it. That I think people are going to have to at least deal with on some level. Barkley! You're being pulled. Barkley? By so many different strings that I don't think it matters where you're from. If you're a human being, you're going to respond to this show. You're watching us. So how does this family get out of this situation? And it's a continuing series on how they implement their own plan and how the hostage takers implement their plan. It's kind of a desperate housewives cross with Hitchcock. The president's surgery cannot be delayed. He's not a patient anymore, Ellen. He's a target. Usually television shows don't put themselves in this type of bind. You think you know. You don't know the espionage, the politics. It's very clever. It's a lot of twists and turns. And there's some shockers, and that's what you know, audiences love. That's what I love. Black is white, white is black, up is down, down is up. I think audiences want to be challenged as well as entertained and, you know, not entirely spoon-fed all the time. And all of a sudden, your mind is blown. So I really love that aspect of the show. Don't think of it as killing the president. Think of it as saving your family. President? Hostages. Thursday at 9, only on Warner TV.